why are we comparing ourselves to other metro areas as a means of comparison for most of the indicators? Well, what, what you want to do is you want to look at Detroit relative to other regions because people are making decisions about where to live, where to locate businesses, et cetera, based on regional issues. We have regional economies, and if you listen to Obama talk about it, it is we're, we're working by regions. No city exists by itself. It is a regional economy. People go across city lines and county lines to go to work, to shop, to everything else. People live in one place and work in another, and it really is economies grow kind of orga organically through a region. And, and when business relocation decisions, as I said, people are looking at the characteristics of a region. They may look at the city of Detroit, and certainly there is that um, issue about how much the city of Detroit's reputation drives uh, people's thoughts of this region. But it really is a regional economy, and we need to look at ourselves how we compare to other regions that we're competing with. It's, there's no doubt that uh, we're going to compete with a Boston, a Washington, D.C., Cleveland again, Pittsburgh, and others. So we better know how we stack up against other regions, because those are the data that other people outside are using when they start to look at Detroit. Some indicators are state-to-state -state ranks. Why is that? What we tried to do, and, and some of it was done, uh, some of it was limited by time constraints, but what we tried to do was include as many indicators as we could, and what you find over in terms of data, a lot of times data are not available at certain levels of geography. And some of the data that we wanted to do were either not available across metro areas, or you had to kind of create it. Uh, you'd have to build these metropolitan areas, and it was very time consuming. So part of what we did was to start out with those variables that we could fairly readily get. I mean, some of it we had to construct, but fairly readily get against across regions. But in order to kind of build out on a lot of the indicators that we felt were important, we also did those that were only available at the state level. And recognize the fact that a lot of decisions around Detroit are based on issues that Michigan faces or issues, something that's happening in Lansing will affect people's decisions about locating in the Detroit metropolitan area. So we, we feel that just like the city of Detroit doesn't exist in isolation from its region, the Detroit region doesn't exist in isolation of the state of Michigan. And now for the scorecards going forward, we're building upon those regional indicators as well, uh, in addition to adding more state level indicators. So we've we continue to build up these databases, and certainly now we've had a little more time since the last scorecard, so that the next time around we're going to have a much even, much more robust set of indicators.